Soup's on! Hi, I'm Craig. You know, when you get a campfire going like this, technically, you're using energy from the sun. Light from the sun reaches the earth and is absorbed by plants, like this former tree, which create carbohydrates, or carbs, that are stored in the plant. Now, once the plant gets chopped up and set on fire, all that stored energy is released in the form of light and heat. It's kind of like a reverse photosynthesis. But it turns out there's another way to convert that plant energy into heat energy. And it can be used to cook our food. And you know what? It smells like crap. Art Tracy, professor in the Environmental and Plant Biology Department at Ohio University. Art, you said we were going to do some cooking, but clearly you're playing around in a pile of manure. Craig, I thought that today I could show you how to cook food in a compost pile. Huh. Can't we just use a campfire? Sure, you could use a campfire. In a campfire, all the biomass you put there it turns into heat really rapidly. But you know, in a compost pile, if we start with the same amount of biomass, it'll eventually release the same amount of heat, it just takes a little longer. Oh, okay. And that's a far better idea. So where do we start? First thing we'll have to do is build this compost pile up a little bit bigger than it is. So why don't we get started? Sounds good. So Art, maybe you could explain uh, to those of us who perhaps, you know, maybe uh, didn't read the notes before hosting this episode, what all is going on in this compost pile? Well, Craig, to get a really hot compost pile, we're going to have to start with a big pile of manure. It always starts with poop. I guess it seems to. Now, in the manure, there are lots of bacteria and other microorganisms that are really good at breaking down plant material into carbon dioxide and water. And when they're doing that, they generate a lot of waste heat. In order to get them to really grow, we're going to have to feed them. So how about you add a layer or so of that sawdust over there? Okay. Just put in a little layer. As long as the microorganisms in this pile have some carbohydrates to feed on, they'll grow and reproduce, and they'll do their decomposition, and they'll generate a lot of extra waste heat. And since sawdust is just tiny pieces of a tree, they just chomp right down on it? Well, they're digesting the sawdust, and they're using the nitrogen in the manure, and it really gets the population going. And when you get a really big active population of microorganisms, they're generating a lot of extra energy, a lot of extra heat. See that pile over there where the steam is coming out of it? Oh, yeah. So in that pile, you have so many bacteria doing their decomposition and generating waste heat that the water is turning into steam. <laughs> I'd say we fed these guys pretty well. What's next? The next thing this pile is going to need is plenty of water. Okay. Grab this. Oh, come on! I'll get in there, Craig. Come on. We need to mix this water in this pile. The only thing worse than manure is wet manure. We're going to need lots of oxygen in the pile, so we need to have it nice and loose. What's the danger if I pack this too tight? If it's too tight, or if it's too wet, really, there's just not going to be enough oxygen getting into the pile and circulating, and the microorganisms aren't going to be able to generate the kind of heat we're looking for. Well, we got this, so time to eat? Well, not exactly, Craig. It's going to take a few days for the microorganisms to grow enough get a big enough population to really start to generate the heat we're looking for. A few days? Well, yeah. No, Craig, it's really going to take a couple days. Come on, we can't fake it for TV. Jeez. All right.
Well, Craig, it's been a few days, as indicated by our different clothes. Okay. All right, so if we open up this compost pile, we can see it is really working. So there's all those bacteria in there are doing their decomposition, and they're producing waste energy, which accumulates in the pile as heat. Yeah, you can feel the steam coming out of there. It's pretty toasty. But can it cook food? Well, we can find out, huh? I've got a couple of chicken eggs here. Okay. Put them down in this bag. All right, now I'll open up a little space in here. If you can just drop them down in that pile. Yeah, sure. Where do you think the heat is? Oh yeah, that's that's a warm spot. There we go. Now we also have a gallon of water. We're gonna heat up some water. See how that works. So take this whole gallon of water. I'm gonna make another opening for you. Why not? Make another little opening. There you are. Right in the old stink oven. All right. Just tuck those in real nice. All right. Now we just need to wait about eight hours. Eight hours? What's with all the going and coming? Well, Craig, a campfire, you know, generates a lot of heat really quickly. But a compost pile, even though it's going to create as much heat eventually, it's going to take a long time. I'm calling off work for this, Art. Just kidding. I was fired. Well, Craig, I think this should just about be done. Now we see what we have in here. All right. All right, here we go. Did you reach your hand down in there? Oh, wow, these are really hot. Yeah. Now go ahead and crack it open. Wow, th this is really cooked. Give it a taste. I'm gonna take this water that we were warming up make you something to go with that. So, if I can get some chocolate. All right, I'm gonna add the water here. There you go. We almost got a meal. Yeah. Tell me, how's that egg taste? Poop-tastic. Mm. Well, it really is quite good. I just can't get past the fact that we just pulled this stuff out of a pile of poop. Well, Craig, it'd be nice to know what the actual temperature is, so I'll stick a probe down inside the pile. Look at that, that says 153 degrees. That's crazy. I can't wait to tell people I ate a poop egg today. <laughs> so whether you decide to cook with the campfire or a compost pile, you're converting energy that at one point or another came from plants. Granted, one may be a little smelly, and the other might give you splinters. Any way you look at it, it's energy being recycled. Delivery for uh, Craig? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Keep the change. Thank you. As far as the cooking itself goes, sometimes it's better to just give up and order a pizza. Ah, <sighs> composting. It may be down and dirty, but it's definitely science. Thank you.